I'll be showing the new whiteboard integration into Teams channels. This makes it really easy to add a whiteboard right into your channel for collaboration, whether you're in education or you're doing a project at work. So let's get started. Now I'm here in a team, it has a few channels, but I'm gonna create a new one. So I'll go to the dot, dot, dot menu and choose add channel. There's my channel name, click add. So I have a new channel here. I'm gonna go up to the plus right here and I'm just gonna search for whiteboard. And there it is, so click whiteboard. I'll give it a name, Project Blue Whiteboard, and click Save. Now, first off, it's going to ask, do I want to present or collaborate? And this is really handy. If I just want this to be a read-only whiteboard that other people can't mess with, I'll choose Present and click this. Now the whiteboard is read-only for everyone else, and as you can see, only I can edit. And if I want to change that, I can go here to the gear and say other participants can edit. So if I want to make this read-write a little bit later, I'll turn that on and close. Now you have that full whiteboard capability right here on a channel and it's always there. And maybe what you can do is do a brainstorm. So do something that looks like this. Here's an example of a whiteboard I filled out in a different channel. So I can go full screen just like this. I can zoom in, I can scroll around the page just like I would in a normal whiteboard. And again, over on the gear, after we're done editing, I can just say, you know what, now this is read only and no one else can mess with it. The other thing that I can do is open up this Teams whiteboard in the whiteboard app, either on Windows 10 or iPad or Mac. So I'm gonna go over here and click open in app. It's gonna ask me if I can, I already have the Windows app, so I'm just gonna click open in the app. Now it's opening the whiteboard and it's gonna fetch that from Teams and here it is. Now in the actual whiteboard app, there's a lot more things I can do. For example, down here, if I click plus, you can see I could add things like stickers, I can add a PDF, I can do Word documents. I can also, in the upper right, click this, a lot of different options with inking. I can send this whiteboard to OneNote. Things like formatting the background, maybe I want a blue background, uh, maybe I want some squares in the background. And so you have a lot more flexibility to do different things when you're in the actual app. Another thing I can do, I'll just add a sticky note here, and I'm gonna add Sticky notes in whiteboard, if I click here, hit the dot, 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 I can launch the Immersive Reader, one of my very favorites. Now I can read this out loud. This can show the Immersive Reader in whiteboard. And all the things that you can do in Immersive Reader, I won't do the full demo. But you can see as I can add more and more options here inside of the actual whiteboard app, and the team is working on bringing many of these capabilities into the web version of whiteboard in Teams, so stay tuned in the near future, you'll be seeing a lot more. And to wrap out here, let's give ourselves a sticker. Hit the plus, choose sticker. Ooh, fruit crew. How about this one, the elephant? There we are, now let's go back into Teams. And you can see in Teams, this is synced right into the Teams view. So now I've got a blue background, formatted squares, and there is my elephant sticker. All of these whiteboards are stored by whoever created it. I'll flip over to Kara to show this. I'm signed in as Kara, who created these whiteboards and the owner of the team. And if I go to the all apps in the lower left, scroll down and find whiteboard right here, here are all the different whiteboards. There's the Project Blue whiteboard, there's the Metaphysics whiteboard in the recreation room. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you wanna keep up with all the latest quick tip videos that I'll keep releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get notified for all the new videos that post.